Hello and welcome to the garden. Tomorrow night it is going to get down into the 20s here and it's supposed to rain tomorrow so tonight we are going to pick everything that's left out here. There's some tomatoes. I think there's some that are about half ripe and there's some that are just green. There's some peppers out here and that's pretty much it. There may be a couple beans, um, but we're just gonna pick whatever we find, bring it in the house, and then figure out what to do with it. It's time to close everything down for the most part. There are some things out here, uh, like the carrots and the radishes that are down here that will be fine after the frost. Uh, the peas should be okay, and the kale and the arugula I planted should also be fine. And I have some green onions coming up that should also be okay. So the garden's not necessarily done for the season or for the year, but it's getting to that point. So I'm just gonna go through and pick every tomato that I can find. Uh, I'm gonna pick all the peppers and Oh, something has been digging in my garlic. I'm going to come down here and notice that there's a big hole in here. And there's a garlic. Oh look, it rooted. Okay, I'm just going to shove that back down in there. I would not be surprised if I found a poop because if you remember earlier in the season, like in the spring, I had an animal get in here and it was just taking dumps in the garden and then leaving. Which is nice. Um, these Chianti Rose tomatoes look terrible. Like, look at that. They all split. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, there's some little tiny green ones in here. That one's ripe, but it's split. There's flowers on it. This makes me sad. Um, oh, hello. There's a lemon boy laying on the ground that's actually kind of like half ripe. So, this is the radishes, and they will be totally fine out here in the frost. Uh, they actually like the frost, but these babies are... Yeah, look, you can see the pink down there. Um, these won't be ready for a couple more weeks. Maybe a week, week and a half, two weeks, I'm not sure. Um, but I'll be able to see the little shoulders of the radishes sticking up when they're ready to be pulled. Uh, the zucchini, it's small, but I did notice the other night that it has a male flower on it. So if I can somehow get some female flowers on here, that's another male. There's more flower buds coming up. Actually, these may be females. If I can get another, if I can get a female flower, I can hand pollinate it. And I have uh, like frost blankets I can use. This has powdery mildew on it. So I don't know. It was a good experiment. I may just let it die via the frost, I don't know. It didn't get very big. I mean, it's, here's my hand. Um, it's not taking up a ton of room. I don't, I assume it's because of where it's planted and the season it was planted in. So, and it's not getting a ton of sunlight right here, but it is making new leaves. Like here's a newer one. Here's another one. The carrots down here are just little sprouts. And these take a while, but they will be fine after it frosts. So I'm not concerned about them at all. This weekend, I will spend a lot of time um, pulling out plants, pulling out peppers. I am going to try to overwinter a pepper. Um, I think I'm gonna try to overwinter, I don't know maybe my serrano plant because it still looks pretty healthy 
Like here's the Serrano and it's falling over a little bit, but it looks healthy. It doesn't have a ton of spotting. Um, it has peppers on it. Um, the jalapeno I was thinking about overwintering, but it looks a little worse for wear. I also have this little tiny one over here that I could overwinter. And you know what? I may actually just do two. I may do a jalapeno and a serrano. Some bells, a couple jalapenos, and some little serranos. And now it's tomato time. So, like I've said before, there are some varieties out here that I will regrow next year, and there are some that I will not. Um, I'll go more in depth into my tomato varieties for 2020, um, probably later in the fall or in the winter. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best varieties. Not necessarily the best varieties, but the best varieties for what I want them for. Which is eating fresh, um, making sauce, making salsa. Um, I like tomatoes that have a lot of flavor, but I don't like tomatoes that have a ton of seeds either and gel. I like a lot of meat. Um, the lemon boys I grew this year, these, these were really good. These are a hybrid tomato actually. Uh, these plants came from Menards at the very beginning of the season. I bought these, I think in like late April. For some reason I got too excited and bought plants and ended up with a ton of tomatoes off of these plants. So I'm trying to decide if I leave room in the garden for these again. Um, I don't think you can necessarily buy the seeds for these. I have not saved any seeds from these. So I might do that next year. I'm not sure yet. Uh, usually seed packets give you like 25 seeds per each packet. And I started those Cherokee purple tomatoes three times because Luna killed them twice <laughs> by stepping on them. And I still have a few seeds left. So I'm not as concerned about running out of seeds. And honestly, seed packs are like usually less than $3 a pack. So I'm okay with buying seeds every year if I run out for a variety that I like, like the Chianti Rose. It's rained quite a bit in the last week. Um, which makes me kind of nervous for picking all these tomatoes because I know there's gonna be a lot over here that are split. And just for bringing them in the house and ripening them or doing something with the green tomatoes, it's not ideal to have splits because they're just gonna sit longer before you do something with them more than likely. So we're gonna pick some tomatoes and I'll be curious to see how many I actually end up with out of this that aren't split. Just like that. Tomatoes are pretty much gone. So that's that. The garden looks empty. I got my basket of stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these green tomatoes. Um I'm thinking about maybe making some salsa verde. 
I don't know how many I have here in terms of like cups worth of um, meat and like juice, but it's quite a bit. Um, there are a few that are a little bit yellow. This one's a little bit yellow. Also got some little ones. This is a Chianti Rose. It's it conjoined. Um, this one is a Cherokee Purple, and it's a little bit split, but I picked it anyway. I thought, why not? Uh, this is a Cherokee Purple too, and the top of it's really dark, and the bottom of it's super light. So I don't know, but. So what we got. The frost is a coming. I've dodged it, um, I think twice now. Our average first frost date was almost two weeks ago. It was, it'll be two weeks on Friday. And so that's pretty good. Uh, I was able to pick a lot more tomatoes that were ripe in those two weeks, which makes me happy. It's almost time to shut her down. Everything that's out there now, except for the zucchini, um, should be fine after it frosts until we get our first like hard freeze, like 10 degree night and it stays like that for a while. They should be fine. Um, like the kale and the arugula all should be fine. I am going to work in the garden this weekend a little bit, get everything pulled out, get the garden cleaned out of all the plants as much as I can. I don't want to leave it like I have in years past that just makes things more difficult for me in the spring and I'm going to put a couple pepper plants in pots I think that's the plan um not sure where I'm gonna put those pots I may put them in the basement underneath the grow light I don't know today specifically as I was out here picking all of these little green tomatoes it made me think more about spring and what I want to grow. So I'll be sure to keep you updated on what I decide to do. Um, I have a whole long list of potential things I want to grow next year, including a huge list of tomato varieties I want to grow, in addition to all the seeds I already own. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah seasons they are changing it might snow on halloween again it's done that i did that a few years ago and it might do it again this year so i can't wait <laughs> so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one